In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and run Stable Diffusion 2.1 model, which is used for text to image generation in AWS SwitchMaker. I'm already logged into my AWS account and on my screen that you can see that I'm already at AWS SageMaker Studio. If you don't know how to go there, all you need to do is to go to your AWS account, go to AWS SageMaker service and on the left hand side, click on Studio. Once you click there, then you will be, after opening the Studio, you will be on this screen. On the left hand side, click on SageMaker Jumpstart in the model notebook solution. Just on the top right, search for stable diffusion and you will be presented with these models. Now, in order to use this model, all you need to do is to click here and it will open a new screen. In this screen, click on deploy and that will start deploying. If you want to see what exactly this deployment configuration will be, just open up this deployment configuration and it is showing you what sort of instance it is using. In this case, it is using MLP3 2x launch which is quite an expensive one. But so let's try it out. Click on deploy here and it is going to deploy the model for you. So let's wait for it to finish. The stable diffusion is still being deployed and it takes around five to 10 minutes and I have seen that sometime it even takes 20 minutes. So let's wait. Stable diffusion model has been deployed on the studio. Now open this notebook. It will open this notebook in a new window and it will start the kernel. So it has started it. Now let's run all of these cells one by one where we will be importing some of the libraries and in order to run it, just click on this play button within that cell. That's done. Yeah. Now let's run the endpoint, helpers for the endpoint. That's done. So now we are, we are going to call the model where we will be um, uh, generating the image from the prompt. So the image here in this example is cottage and Im impressionist style here. And you can see that it's static, which means that it is in progress. So let's wait for it to finish. While it finishes, you can read through a lot of advanced features of this model. Uh, while it performs this inference, so we are given we are uh, we need to give it a prompt and a lot of this stuff. While we were doing it, you can see that it has generated this image. And how cool is that? Let's try some more um, prompts here. Let me ask it to do some beach uh, image. Beach with palm trees. Maybe I will just make the beach. Why yeah, let's try it out. Click on play button. So you read, you can read through a lot of these parameters. It will give you more idea. There you go. So you can see how cool um, that image is and just look at attention to detail. Look at this water, this white sandy beach and this palm tree. And also there are palm trees in the distance. Amazing stuff. There are various examples in this provided jumpstart notebook. Let me run this one where we have astronaut on a horse. So click on play button. And what is happening in this prompt is that we have given some of the values for different parameters. So let's wait for it to finish. And as I have mentioned earlier, if the static is shown here, it means that it is still in progress. So that's done. Scroll down a bit and you can see the astronaut on a horse and also this image, amazing stuff. And then we can also um, use a compressed image output. And for this one, let's, uh, if you just read this, it says the default response type above from an endpoint is a nested array with RGB values. And this image is a bit large, so we can reduce it by compressing it. And then um, this is a code to do it. So this is how you can use Stable Diffusion in AWS SageMaker with different prompts of your liking, and you can generate images as you please. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any feedback, please put it in the comment section. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.